you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm gonna be going over the Mutt Market. So, as you guys know, I typically do this video like two to three times a week, depending on what happens. If nothing happens, then maybe not at all. But as we, when we get new promos, this video is gonna be coming to you guys quite a lot. I know with me making three videos a day, that's like 21 videos a week. I know I could easily fit three into that whole schedule for you guys. I know that you guys like being updated on the Mutt Market and being kept up to date, which is why two to three, two to three times a week, I feel like is a good amount to keep you guys up. Because within house rules and Saturday Legends and new promos, things come out on a weekly basis that definitely need to be talked about. Now, guys, Mutt Heroes obviously dropped on Friday. The market went from bad to worse to horrible so the market continues to keep crashing now i'm gonna give you guys my in-depth analysis on the market i'm gonna give you guys some quick advice on what i would do from this point forward and what to expect considering more mud heroes will be dropping and most fear should be around the corner at some point i'll go into all that shortly as we get into the video guys but as you guys know quick little intro before we get into the video if you guys are new to the channel make sure to go down below smack that subscribe button boys turn on the noti bell we are so close to 10k boys i'm so excited like i'm I'm just waiting for it. I've been anxious all week waiting for it. When we finally hit 10K, it's going to be a big moment for us guys as a, as a channel. The whole family continues to grow, boys. If we keep this up, we could literally be like at 15 to 20K by Christmas and maybe even one of the more known YouTubers in the community and make this real by next year, guys. So thank you guys for all the support. If you're new to the channel, also make sure to go down below and comment down below. Say what's up. And let me know what you guys are doing with the market. I like to hear your advice on what your current take on the market is. And let me know what you guys have been sniping, keeping up on. And if you guys haven't already, drop a big like on the video, boys. Get this video to 200 likes. I know you guys like this video, so make sure to actually like it. And guys, get into this video. So you know how I like to run the videos when it comes to market talk. Gone over to 80 to 81s, so although I won't spend too much time on the lower ones today because I do want to talk about the majority of the higher overall cards that have been introduced, including that limited time Aaron Donald. Now, guys, these 80 to 81 Mutt Hero cards are very, very cheap. Now, let's filter them out and show you guys what they're actually going for. These cards could quite easily be going for even lower than that if we properly filter them out. Let's go to, like, Broncos or any team and see what we can find here. 8.5K. Let's go to Chiefs. Let's click on a few random teams. I imagine you could probably find a few of these for about 7K if you look for them enough. It's kind of crazy thinking that a few weeks ago, most 81s were going for like 11 to 10K, and now they're going for 8K, and the whole market as a whole has just really come down. Let's see if we can find any for like 7K. That's kind of the goal here. Go to Packers. I know that if you search for long enough or you're searching the right categories, you will find them 8K right there. We're pretty close, but you guys get the point. 80s can be found right now for about 7 to 8K if you look properly in the right filters. It's pretty crazy in my opinion. Because, I, like I always say, 80s are a good indicator of where the market's trending. So, if you can find them for about 7K, you know the market's really taking a hit right now. I'm not going to go over the 81s because 80 and 81s are kind of interchangeable at this point. 82s. So, 82s are definitely not that expensive. It's more so the fact that you have to filter them properly and you can probably find them closer to, yeah, about 13K. It's still a little bit high for 82s. Would not recommend these as a training option at all considering what I'm seeing 80s, 81s going for. 82s are still pretty cheap though. But again, there's so many other higher overall cards that are much cheaper than the median that I recommend those cards as a bigger factor for you guys. 83s, as you guys can see, looking like about 18K, which is still pretty cheap. Let's see what the 84s are going for. I'm kind of curious. I used to love taking 84s and 85s as training options. 84s are looking like 25K. Let's go down to, we're in team of the week already, obviously, so that's kind of filtered already. 26k yeah so they go for about 25 to 26k let's check out the veteran cards real quick or even the flashbacks i know those packs were out yesterday veterans go for 26k flashbacks go for about let's see let's see let's see 20 oh nothing okay there's no flashbacks that low didn't know that my bad but anyways you guys get the point they're going for about 25k filtered properly that is really really cheap considering the point we are in madden right now i don't remember if you guys know comment down below last year at the same point of madden was the market this cheap already i don't remember if it was and check out the 86s to 87s. Let's see where the veterans stand at. Veterans are 39k. Oh, that's actually kind of a snipe. Um, I would buy it, but if I snipe that and I put it up, I'll probably only get back like a gain of about 1 to 2k. So I'll leave that there. Not waste my time right now. In video, obviously. But guys, you guys can see here with your own eyes. The market has taken a pretty big hit. The mud heroes here are going to stay pretty stagnant in price because unless anything crazy comes out, these are pretty much used in sets, so people are going to, any set piece is always going to retain value until the set no longer has value. So let's head on over to the 87s real quick, see what they're looking like. Obviously, they're not going to filter these out. You guys have a pretty good idea. I see them for about 64K, so 64K, 62K. 
Next up, 88 to 89. So they look in like 87K, but like usual, guys, you can probably filter these out. Let's go. I want to check the training value on these. These sell for, I believe, 2460. So let's see. If I divide 87,000, divided, well, actually, no. Well, yeah, 87,000 divided by 2460. It's looking like 35 coins per training, which does not seem right, actually. Let's go check the training value chart real quick to just make sure I'm doing this right. 88s go for 26.40. Okay, my bad. So 87,000 divided by 26.40. That is 32 points for training. Probably not the best, but it's definitely one of the best. I feel like with the way the market's looking, we should be finding like a, I'd say probably a 29 to 30 coin per training pretty soon in this game. Let's go over to the legends real quick and see what the 89s are looking like. So the 89s, let's see how, let's see how cheap those guys are. 89s, 89s. Ken Houston is 110k. Wow. Guys, if you want to build a pretty good lower overall, like if you like, let's say right now you had a lot of coins and or you guys had a decent amount of coins and you can't afford all the top tier, most feared mud hero cards, you could build a pretty competitive team using some of these thrown away old legends such as Ken Houston, Michael Strahan, Troy Aikman, Jim Brown right here. You can make a pretty solid team using these cards right here. What I recommend buying right now, I can't entirely talk. I'm not going to talk on that yet. Let me get to the higher tier cards before I get in depth on all of that because obviously things are really changing here. And start with the 90s. Let's go to the 9091s. That's where I really want to sit for the rest of this video. So the 9091s, you see Ted Hendricks going for 166K. Let's filter out by Legends. He is going for, and the Legends are going for 166K. So if you guys want to buy, you could, but I'd probably even wait until Legends Saturday at this point. You could probably get some of these cards like Jerry Rice for 140, 130, 150 in that range if you do wait till Legends Saturday. Willie Brown is 187. It's kind of unreal, guys. You could make a really stacked squad of Legends right now. Now, the only issue with Legends, which people are starting to realize, is that, like I've been saying for a month, like the last two months now, these Legends, when they first come out, are really good. The issue is they don't have any longevity. The reason they haven't, if you guys know what longevity means, by the way, that means they, they don't, they're not long term cards. They won't last long as one of the best players because Legends don't get upgrades typically. Guys like Lawrence Taylor might get like a boss card for, um, thanksgiving or halloween guys like that but guys like ted Hendricks and like Derek brooks they might get this card they might not get another card to ultimate legends or the christmas promo so for that reason he's he was decently good when he first came out but now he's not that useful compared to other cards and he probably won't be useful for another few months as a even as a set piece this card as these cards as a whole are unusable now these cards like ted Hendricks and, and uh john elway and Derek brooks they're not usable compared to other cards so the only way they'll be even relevant again is if another card better than them with their own with their own name Derek Brooks like a 94 comes out and you need him as a power up piece but even then this year it doesn't appear like power up cards really affect the elite set pieces anymore anyways but that is why in my opinion why they're not they're not really worthwhile buying their value is only going to keep going down they can't come up too much more because they're before they came up because they were still useful and they were just crashing because of influx now they're not that useful and even if there's an influx they actually might just go down in price there's not gonna be much of an influx of them anymore anyways now, some guys that are still could be like Lawrence Taylor's a guy that you could still buy. Because like I said, he's going to be useful now and he's going to be useful when he gets another card. So he's a guy year long that you're going to want to keep. He has longevity, which is why his value still retains where it is. Guys like Gale Sayers, I think are done. Those running backs like Mark Sound, Gale Sayers are done because there's guys like Saquon Barkley coming out. And I'd imagine an Alvin Kamara and Zeke not too far in the near future coming out. Guys like Munoz and Mawai keep value because they're still the best. Typically, legend linemen are one of the best linemen that you can have for quite a while. Like Munoz and Mawai are still going to hold the slot. Even the modern day ones are coming out and they're not really getting it. Jim Brown's already 247 as a new legend that tells you all you need to know. Even guys like Terrell Owens, Brian Dawkins, Erlock are guys that have held pretty good value are coming down tremendously. Champ Bailey. And would I recommend a guy like Dawkins? Probably not because Dawkins, I imagine, is Sean Taylor's coming around the corner soon too. Now, let's head over to Mutt here so that's what you guys probably care about the most. Mutt Heroes, 158 for Mitch Morse, guys. I actually think Mutt Heroes at a lower price point is a good buy. Now, what I recommend as an investment, no, I think they're a buy as a use. So for me, I got Mitch Morse like 175-ish, which was a cheap at the time. He's cheaper now, obviously. But a guy like Mitch Morse, you could probably use on your team for a price point of 158. And I don't think they'll go much lower. 90 overalls really can't get much lower than they are right now. Legends can, but I think the Mud Heroes, because they're relevant. Now, the only issue with Mud Heroes, I don't think they'll go up tremendously because, again, the Mud Heroes that will be valuable are the ones that are good, like Saquon, Ramsey, DeCastro. But even the good ones, like DeCastro, have come down quite a bit. Now, I don't think these will go up because Mud Heroes really have no use. The top the top set piece Mud Heroes, like Mitch Moores and David Johnson, they are what they are. They are a card that you can either use or sell. They're not involved in a ball set. Like, if, there was, if they had a Mud Heroes ball set for that Aaron Donald, let's say, and you needed um, 9.90 overall Mud Heroes. 
their values would be up because they're useful in a set. These cards were came out as purely as whether you want them or not. They're not like a set piece or anything. So I don't think they'll go up tremendously. I think the market could adjust a little bit, but we have more Mutt Heroes coming out. Then we have more uh, most fear cards. So I really do think these are kind of the values already. Like they're not going to come up much more. There's no really investments you could really make here. That's about it. Like you can get them. You can either snipe them or you can't. There's no, there's no other way around the Mutt Heroes. It's if you get Mitch Morse for 145, 150, you can keep him and you can rock with him and then sell him later. I don't think they'll get much lower because if they got much lower, it'll probably destroy the markets beyond beyond return. But I think this is kind of what they sit at at this point. Like I said, David Johnson, he's either the running back you want or he's a running back you sell. There's no sets, there's no collection, there's no gimmick. So for that reason, these Mutt Heroes will not change value too much. They'll just keep going down, but I don't think they'll go down tremendously more, especially the low guys. Some of the higher guys could start coming down as more cards come out. Like David DeCastro is really high. If they get a better right guard within the next month, he'll probably come down tremendously because he will lose value being that he is a right guard and there'll be a better guy at his position. But for the time being, the only thing that will affect their values is if a guy comes out of their position, but that'll only send them down more. So in my opinion, you guys really want to just be rocking. I, in my opinion, that's why I think you guys should just take for the Mud Heroes Pro, my best advice I can give you guys is take your two free packs from House Rules and Solo Challenges and then run away. Take the ball and go home. Don't spend any money on the Mud Heroes promo. If you like any card specifically, buy them at their cheapest price point and then rock with them. But I don't recommend, there's no investments here. I don't think there's much money, there's not many coins to be made anymore. Initially, maybe. But I think in my opinion, don't buy any. Unless you like them. If you're just a market guy, I wouldn't buy any. If you like them, buy them. But don't buy any. Take your two free packs, run home with them, and then get your two free players. Like for me, probably Saquon and Jalen Ramsey. And then after that, I'll wait for most feared and I'll really invest coins into that promo. That's a money-making promo. That's an investment promo. That's going to probably be a new currency. That is when you really start going in Thanksgiving, Christmas. Right now, I think this promo, you take what you want for your team and then you run away. Guys, that is about it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 250 likes. And if you haven't already made it this far, hit that subscribe button, boys. You won't regret it for your daily Madden content. Let's get to 10K as quickly as possible. Make sure to turn on that noti bell, boys, and comment down below what your move on the market is right now. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of the videos for the day. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.